So uh, she had a C-section before, so we're going to just make our incision right through the, the previous one. And there's different layers, so can they see the actual? Uh, I don't know how much you guys can see, but I'll tell you. So we go through the skin, and then everybody has a little layer of fatty tissue, and then we have a white layer called fascia, and fascia is what, hold, is what holds the, the insides to the, to the outsides. And so one of the things you'll notice is that uh, the tech that's working with me today, she does these all the time, so she knows each step. There may be times that I call out an instrument or talk, but for the most part, she knows exactly what I'm going to do, and she's anticipating my moves before I actually even do it. And so most of the time when we're doing these, we can just talk about sports and movies and everything else. And because uh, if you notice, she's, she's handing me exactly what I need at exactly the right time right time. So right now we're down to the muscle layer. And so that's the next layer. And do what? Yeah, they're, they're in my, they're in my ear. Yeah. Yeah, that's all of them out there. They're, li they're listening to us. So this is just the, the muscle layer here. And so I don't know. I'm taking my time since we have visitors and everybody's watching, but uh, I don't know how long it's been, probably about a minute, but we're now at the uterus already. And so, not yet. So this is the, the uterus right here. And this particular patient has a, a medical complication called a placenta previa. And so where that is, is the placenta is covering the hole. So if you're gonna have a baby through the vagina, you can't deliver the baby's placenta out first and then the baby, that would be bad. So these patients have to deliver by, by C-section. So uh, one of the things that I'm assessing right here is where to make my incision. Normally we would make it right here and I would do all of that without out talking. Uh, but in this case, I'm kind of assessing to see what I wanna do. This is her bladder. So we need to take the, the bladder and push that out of our way and it comes across really nice. So now it's time to have a baby. So we'll take our knife and we'll make our incision. And I'm gonna do this carefully so you can, you can actually see it. So there's the bag of water, right? And so once I break this, you'll see the water break. Voila. All right, and so now, We'll drop the drape down. This is part of our gentle or family-centered C-section. So we actually drop the drape and let Haley see. And you'll, lift, you'll lift her head up. Mm -hmm. And we'll let Haley see the delivery of the head. This is Nahal, one of our midwives. Okay, so you'll stop for a second. So what I'm going to have Haley do now is push, bear down like she was going to the bathroom to deliver the baby. So push down. Okay, and that'll naturally just sort of push the baby out. We take it nice and slow so that the skin squeezes the lungs and that simulates the delivery from the vagina. Here's my favorite part of every delivery is this right here. We can wave, hi. And just for you, we'll wave to the camera, hello. Okay, and we'll delay cord clamping for a second. So there's our baby. Okay, and we'll turn and show you guys, hey. So a lot of patients request something called delayed cord clamping, where instead of clamping the cord immediately, we wait about a minute. And so we'll wait just a few seconds here. And the dad wants to cut this cord. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the cord really long. We can't break sterility, but I can cut it way up here. And then once the baby's safe, uh, once the baby's safe, the dad can do the cord. And we'll take some pictures here. Say hey. Okay, and so unlike most C-sections, instead of passing the baby off to take it away, we're going to pass the baby off and go right to mom's chest. And you can raise the drape back up. And the baby will be right over here with mom. And um, like that, we need cord blood. The differences that we did today were the family-centered style, so bringing the mom into the experience. So letting her watch the delivery of the child, bear down and push and help get the baby out. And then slowing that delivery down 
so that the baby's lungs get squeezed and push out some of the amniotic fluid and then adding the delayed cord clamping in uh, that's a little more complicated issue we can talk about later if anybody's interested in and then uh, immediate skin to skin so resuscitating the baby on the mom's chest which is standard of care in a vaginal delivery um, but still not really standard of care during a c-section and something I really advocate it doesn't really change anything about the way we we work it just requires people to think about things a little differently and uh, it's really really easy to do and makes the mom get to enjoy it as you can hear behind me apparently the baby's lungs are working really really well uh, it's really funny that when you have a baby uh, everybody wants the baby to cry right after it's born and then you spend the next three years trying to get your baby not to cry. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's fun. Go ahead, Seema. Nope. So that's called a, a uh, end of surgery summary or a safe timeout for the end of surgery. So that we just confirm what we did, what happened, make sure everybody's in agreement. Uh, in a case where everything went perfect, not much to cover, but in a, in a difficult or a challenging case, obviously that would be more important. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? Look at those. Yes. 